So you might be in a position where for some reason your Android phone is just not connecting with your headphones, meaning they're just not detecting them, whatever the case is. Even if they're plugged in the headphones, sometimes they may not work. Now the first thing I would recommend doing out of everything is making sure those headphones were connected with your specific, you know, Android in the first place. So what we can do is make our way over to our settings of our specific Android phone. So we're going to click here. We want to then go and click on our Bluetooth connection settings so we can go and click on connected devices and we should be able to see all the different devices that are connected to our phone. So what I would doing, just like how I mentioned before, is just to make sure everything that we wanted to connect to right here via our headphones are connected and they're visible here. Now, sometimes your headphones may not be connected as soon as you put them in your ear. So you may have to come into here and physically click on that specific headphone like this and actually connect it that way. So that is another thing that you may have to do. If they are plugged in headphones, aka the you know, headphones you plug into the bottom of your phone, go ahead, unplug those headphones, plug them back in, and you want to see if those end up you know, working as well. Now, if that doesn't end up working, another massive thing I'd recommend doing is to see if you can disconnect those specific headphones via forget. So go ahead and forget those headphones and go ahead and you know reconnect those headphones as well. That is another big thing I would recommend doing because most of the time if you end up having some issues, and this is something that can cause issues too. So go ahead and forget them and go ahead and reconnect the headphones back to your specific device. Now if that doesn't end up working, another thing I'd recommend doing is going through and just restarting your phone. So go ahead and hold down the power button associated with your phone. So wherever it is, just go and hold it down. And at that point, you want to go ahead and you know, restart your phone. And you want to see if that ends up fixing the situation too. If that still doesn't end up fixing the situation, the last thing I'd recommend doing is updating your specific phone. So go inside of your system settings. You want to go down into system right here. You want to scroll down into software update or system update, which is right there. And all you want to do is go and update your phone. And that may end up fixing the situation too. Again, not a guarantee, but it is one of those things you can try doing. So... That pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.